Well, hey, it's me, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Boy, have I got a deal for you, man. My good friend Ben Mala, he just put this beautiful mansion up for sale right here on Willowdale. It's got, hey, dig this, nine bathrooms, six bedrooms. It's right on the water. What a view it is. It's unbelievable. Oh, by the way, it can be yours for only $12 million, maybe. But wait, there's more. Look at this beautiful Bentley. Now, Ben don't know about it, but I just threw the Bentley in, too. So $12 million, you get a Bentley, you get all this. $12 million bucks, baby. You know, Tiger Woods is coming here to play golf. I was invited, but I'm not going. Now, I'm currently paying out $12 million a year in interest payments. And I used to pay about five or six. That's $35,000 a day. I have to pay the bank a day. How many employees do you have now? About 800. 800? What's that a month? Mm, 340,000 a month. That's 10 grand a day. There we go. It's got another bathroom. Write that down. Welcome home. Looks good. I think we're gonna move here, fuck it. All right, look at this. You gotta maintain these places even though they're pretty much done. That mold on those bricks is a no-no. We got a nine o'clock show in tomorrow morning. Toilet paper's not on the holder. Hey, so I'm yeah. over here now at Willowdale. If you got a 9 a.m. show and then we got a problem, What the fuck? All right, let's go down and look at this fucking seawall. Damn, look at this. Fuck. All right, so here we are. When you have a waterfront home, especially when it's water like this, you have a seawall. There's the sea. You need a wall to protect the property from erosion. This seawall seen its better days. So before we sell a house, we decided the right thing to do was, let's put in a new seawall. So they took out the old seawall, they frame it up for a new one, they're gonna pour concrete, and we're gonna have a brand new seawall, which will probably last another 100 years. How much is that? I don't know, maybe 50, 100 grand. We also have a brand new dock going in. So when somebody buys this beautiful estate, they can sleep and rest assured that they got a nice solid seawall protecting them from the sea. Here we are, approaching the most luxurious, affordable accommodations you will find on Clearwater Beach, Jimmy Hart. The Clearwater Beach Hotel. Why are we at the Clearwater Beach Hotel? Because we're under red alert. The manager had some surgery done and is not at the property. So what does that mean? We have the next in charge. Me. And I guess that means I gotta be nice to him because I need him right now. He's running one of the best properties we got. Makes one of the best returns and causes the least amount of problems. Hey, you need to paint those uh, soldiers right there. You got your little Christmas stuff going on here. Yeah. He's getting in the Christmas mood. He's starting to look like a young Santa. Feeling a little festive. I just want to get a sip of water. Holy mackerel. We got three people working behind a desk at one time. No wonder where you're making all the money. And you? Yeah. We run a tight ship. That's here. the way you run the place. The more the merrier. The more the scarier. <laughs> what time's the shift change? Three o'clock. Three o'clock is 3.39. Who just got off? I did. I mean, explain to me again, just out of my curiosity, why do you have three people here right now? <laughs> it's a volume shift. She helps me during the days, and we're training a new hire right now. This is our new trainee. No, he's our trainee, she's our trainee. Who's the trainee? You're training. All right, thank you for coming aboard. You stole her from Ooh, why'd they fire you? They did not fire me. No, they did not fire me. Well, thanks for coming aboard. We appreciate it. You have any problems? Talk to Garrett. Yeah, that little tropical storm we had after Hurricane Ian took away part of our boat dock. It did more damage than the than the hurricane. Hey, can you have somebody clean this area up? Clean it and rock it. That's the only area I could find in this whole property that needs attention. What happened at Sheridan Fort Lauderdale with Vincent the other day? Pool looks clean. Sorry. No, I'm just all right. No, no, no. I'm just inspecting it. We need to, we need to run some 
you know, screw in some really good wood to make this thing straight and stronger. You know, do we have to have the tape there? Don't think we should. I know it sounds like cheap nuts, but anything will look better than these rusted screw holes. Can I ask one question? Yes. What's the difference than a rate and a walk-in rate? I walk see the sign says walk-in rate. What's a walk-in rate compared to a regular rate? They walk in and pay the regular rate. Oh, what is? Oh, is that? So it's really it's, it's a gimmick, right? Well, so it's the walk -in not rate. a gimmick. Uh. If you if you commit to something in advance and you pay that money ahead of time, you deserve a better rate. You come to Clearwater Beach Hotel, and Garrett's going to give you a good deal. And you got an ice cream parlor over there too. You want to know the story about Clearwater Beach Hotel? I'm going to tell you the story. It was the second hotel I ever bought in my life. We picked up this hotel for a nice price back around 2010. Fixed it up, running good. What happened? We went across the street to this place. It was called the High Seas. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, you want to sell your hotel? They said, sure. We came to a price we agreed upon, and I bought this one because I figured, how hard could it be if I'm already over here to run a small one across the street? Now, this place had its own office. I didn't need an office anymore. So I eliminated the office and then ran everything out of that one office. What did I do by doing that? I eliminated the front desk office on a hotel, which required three people 24 hours a day and its own maintenance person. Then I took the old office space and I rented it to an ice cream parlor who does very well here and pays very nice rent. You guys sell ice cream here? No. What do you got sugar free? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. I have some up in my you room. know, I don't get it with you skinny people. You don't like fat people. You're always telling us to lose weight, but you know I'm nothing sugar free. I don't get it. I have lactose free. Lactose free. So I'm gonna cheat and double up on my medicine tonight. So you're gonna make me a chocolate fudge brownie malted? Just don't tell my wife or my doctor. So I cut so much expense out of the property, I created a lot more cash flow. That's what you call value add. Cut expenses, but still maintain the quality, and you value add. Mmm. That's good. And if you want to know more about things of this nature, go to benmail.com slash shop and consult with Ben. Get me on the phone. I'm waiting for to hear from you. Do it now. Big deals, small deals, wheels and deals. I don't care. Get me on the phone. Let's talk about it. Who better do you know that you can get on the phone and talk to about doing some deals? Your mommy? We're working on getting this parking lot done, but I don't know. He's talking about having to get permits to block the street. Paint, asphalt. Pool deck, door locks, cameras, televisions, it never ends. But that's part of being in business. You gotta spend money to make money. And this place is worth investing money in because this place is a little gold mine. All right, guess where we're at tonight? We're at USF Tampa, baby. And we're gonna come here and meet some students and talk about real estate. Jeff, nice to meet you. You know how I first discovered you? How? I was in Hyde Park and I saw a Rolls Royce. I walked up to it and I scanned that little barcode and then I found your YouTube channel. Great. It was awesome. Barcode worked. Yeah, That's yeah. great. I'm on my second flip. Do you recommend just building capital until I have enough to get into commercial? Think about your whole life building a war chest. And then you use the war chest whenever you need to, and then you pay it back. You're at. Right. And then the more money you got, the less control the banks have over you. And the more you can tell them to go fuck themselves because you got money. Yeah. I've been clean and sober for 30 days. Oh, that's the wrong meeting. That's tomorrow night. Real estate is the second oldest profession that I know of. We ain't gonna talk about the first. But there was a hotel involved eventually. I have to give it all you got. I mean, it doesn't come easy. I treat real estate like a religion. We practice it. If you're serious about being in real estate, especially when you're young, you pretty much gotta just let everything else go that's not essential in your life. A real estate license is a license to make money. Everybody in this world, most people, are either buyers or sellers at some point in their life. Everybody you meet is a prospective client that you can make a commission off of. Don't buy a house. Buy something that's gonna bring you in income at a minimum. The right deal that you should pick will give you free cost of living. 
Buy something like a duplex, a triplex, a fourplex, something that's gonna bring in income, and then what do you do? You go out and do it again. We're gonna go through what we call Real Estate 101 our way. How do we practice real estate, Ben? What do we got? Well, the first thing, first thing you gotta do, like my dad said, is you have to have that mindset, that money-making mindset. Making money should be your first passion. Don't be afraid to invest your own time. Everybody's heard of sweat equity? Well, there's a reason they made that turn. Sweat equity means get your ass out there. Sorry. Get out there. It means get out there. That's Carla, one. That was me. Dollar in the swear jar. For the rest of your life, you need to protect your credit score because that makes you worthy of borrowing money. Everybody, once you turn 18, your credit's pretty much perfect. I mean, that's why when I went to college, they offered me tons of credit cards. I'm sure you guys got the same thing. They, they because your credit's perfect, they wanna know what type, but don't go after all that stuff. You know, settle for what you need, not what you want. We thank you guys for coming and we really appreciate it. The whole key to making money in real estate is creating the value. You know, finding something that's a piece of whatever and making it into garbage to gold. That's how you make money. There you, go. you know, I started, honestly, when I was, well, I was a lot younger than you. I was in my 20s or mid-20s. I was buying crack houses. i go to Home Depot and I'd fix it up. I'd rent it out to Section 8. I got a nice family in there. The city was paying me rent. I took crap that I paid twenty dollars and $40,000 for. It was worth two hundred and forty dollars by the time I rented it, after I finished renting it out. So I'm studying to get my master's in real estate at USF here. Out they have a real estate degree? Yeah. So I didn't even know it existed. I was, wondering, I was just wondering if that would be a waste of time and money to get that degree or not. How could it be a waste of time? I mean, if you're going to get a degree in real estate, once you got a college degree, you could take the broker's test. You know, this is unbelievable. You know, I came over here for Ben Mala, but it was crazy. When I came through the lobby, I saw kids sleeping on the couch. His sleeper over in the corner playing bing. What the fuck is going on? Bang, bring it up. It was, it was unbelievable. It's a college life. You know, a lot of students come in here. A lot of students like to be in the Marshall Student Center to come, and we're glad that he, they came to see Ben. What a great crowd tonight for Ben. Unbelievable. We had a little full ben, house. Little Ben was here. Aaron was here. Carla was here. Everybody was here. We were all taking pictures. But like I said, it was kind of different. I, was first, I didn't go to college. This is the first time I've been to college. When I saw what everybody had was so much fun here, I wish I'd have gone to college now. So we're ready to go. We're out of here. One more. Let's do it. Shh, I forgot we're in school. Gotta be quiet. He's got two million, let's rob him. <laughs> you need to go to consult with Ben. You need to go to benmal.com slash consult, get me on the phone, and let's talk about how you're gonna make that two million into 10 million. That's awesome. The Real Estate Society, thanks you for coming out, Ben. We came to USF Tampa. We had a great time. We spent a few hours here. We met great people, great students, people that are hungry, that want to have a future and make money. And we love being around people like that. What's for dinner? I'm hungry too. So hungry. Subscribe, watch another video. Or hit the like button. Or dislike. Adios, amigos.